Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to do the granny square. It's a hexagon shape for the Starburst baby blanket. Uh, first we start out with a magic circle because we're going to be working in the round and um, I just find it's the easiest rather than doing chains. And then we're going to chain two because we're going to be doing um, double crochets around. So chain two. And then we're going to put 11 double crochets into the circle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And you see how I'm, this is the way that I hold it to get them all on there. Another way might be more comfortable for you. That's the way that I found this comfortable for me. And then close the circle and we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two. And I'll show you the way that I like to do these because when you have the chain two instead of a double crochet, um, sometimes I don't like the way they look when they're kind of twisted. Um, what I found, at least for this pattern, certainly, is that if you put it in the top here, right in the second chain, this is this chain two, right in, like if it's facing you like this, one and two, and then put it through here and get two, get two loops as opposed to say going in through here and going under these two because it turns it and I think it just winds up not looking as good. So this is the way that I think looks good for this pattern <clears throat> for sure. So right through here and we're going to slip stitch And then we're going to do chain two, one and two, and we're going to put a double crochet right into the same um, chain two that we slip stitched into. So right where this, right at the bottom of this one, we're going to put another one right there. So we've got two in this same space. And then we're going to have one and make sure you get under this one right here. This loop here and the loop behind it. Make sure you get both of the loops. So one loop and then, <clears throat> I'm sorry, one double crochet in that loop. Then we're going to chain two. And then we're going to have two double crochet in the next stitch. One in the next stitch. Chain two. Two double crochet in the next stitch. And then one in the next stitch, chain two, two in the next stitch, and then one in the next stitch, and it, <clears throat> it is this way all the way around, 
chain two. And then two double crochet in the next stitch. One and in the next stitch. Chain two. Two in the next stitch. And then this is the final one. And then you chain two. And these are going to, these chain two, um, those are going to be the corners. And then we do the same kind of slip stitch. And through here, two loops, and we're just going to slip stitch. Okay, so we have six corners, and then we're going <clears> to <throat> chain two again, and then one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, and then two double crochet in the chain space. So one, two, and then chain two, and <clears throat> two more double crochet. So this is your first corner. And then <clears throat> one double crochet into the first stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. That didn't feel right. Okay, then we have two in the chain space. So this is the pattern. So you wind up having <clears throat> two in the chain space. You wind up having two double crochet, two chain, and then two double crochet for your corner. So two double crochet, one and two, chain two, and then two double crochet, one and two. And that is your next corner. Then one double crochet in the next stitch, another one, and another one. Oops. Then two in the chain space. So you can see how after a while, after you do probably three of them, you can kind of do it quickly and you wouldn't have to look at the pattern. Um, and you can just do it somewhere. Um, I know a lot of people like to just have something to crochet that they can sit and watch TV or that they can travel with. Um, and it's not something really complicated. I mean, the complicated ones are really fun too, but sometimes you also want something that's not really complicated that you can travel with and things like that. On the next stitch, these are all double crochet. more double crochet. 
I know when I was working on this blanket, I got to the point where I almost wasn't even looking at what I was doing. Um, and I actually didn't miss the holes. I was really astonished by that, but <laughs> you can get so used to making the same hand movements that they really can do it without you concentrating on it. Okay, so we're back here. And then, I'm going to make sure we get this slip stitched right the same way, right in between these two. Get two loops and slip stitch it. Okay, and I think that up this way that that looks pretty decent. Um, so I'm, I'm fairly happy with doing it that way for this pattern. So um, what we have left is um, a single crochet um, around the edge. So we want to chain one. And then we single crochet around. And then we put three in the corner. And just single crochet in every stitch. And hopefully you can see this well enough. Three in the corner. I didn't have any of the um, starburst. Um, the, not the starburst yarn. Uh, what was it called? Twinkle print. Pastel print, I'm sorry. The pastel print, I didn't have any more of that yarn left to demonstrate, unfortunately. Three in the corner. And so this is the pattern. It's just single crochet at the, you know, all the way around the edge. And then three in the corners. And then you will want to watch my video for uh, how to mattress stitch them together. And that's it. And then you would just slip stitch it. And that's how you do the hexagon. Thank you.